The opportunity has never been better to start your own online business. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you five simple business ideas that have massive potential this year. And I actually do two of these businesses myself and make over 100,000 a month in profit from them. But none of these businesses will get you rich quick. Starting any business is a challenge and it'll take you time to see some results. But I promise it's worth it because any one of these ideas can change your life if you just pick one and stick with it. So let's get started with business number one. After the Many local businesses have been struggling to see the same success as they used to, which creates a golden opportunity. If I was at square one with zero dollars to my name, I would start a local marketing agency. Essentially, your job is to help local businesses get more customers through digital advertising like Facebook, Google, or TikTok. To do this successfully, you need to learn two skills, marketing and sales. To learn marketing, there are an abundance of tutorials out there that'll teach you the ropes on pretty much any advertising platform you need to know. But there is no better way to learn than actually putting in the work. My best advice would be to offer your service for free to somebody in your area that you know. Doing this is perfect because you can experiment freely and learn the ropes by actually doing the thing. A lot of people get way too hung up watching hours and hours of videos every single day instead of taking action, but that is the way that you're gonna learn. And then if you're able to generate some results for that client, you can leverage that to get your first paying customers. As for learning the sales side of this business, it will also take some time and practice. But having some results under your name really helps with the sales process and you'll feel a lot more confident offering this service. These two skills are without a doubt some of the most important ones that you can build and if you take the time to master them, you will never be broke again in your entire life. Unless you, you get rich and spend all your money, then you'll probably go broke again. This is not a new concept, but it still to this day is one of the best businesses to get started if you got no money. This second business is not for everyone, but it can truly set you up for life. Over 1 billion hours of content is watched on YouTube every single day and this number just keeps on growing. Which means becoming a content creator is a golden opportunity for anyone at any age. It's not easy, but the room for growth is incredible. For example, with my YouTube channel that I started just a couple years ago, you can see that last month alone, my channel brought in $41,000 in ad revenue. It definitely took me some time to get to this level, but here's how I did it. The first thing you need to do is pick a niche, and for me, it was e-commerce. Now, in the past, I've tried to go for channels that are broad, like doing vlogs or gaming content, but I always struggle to get these channels off the ground. So this time around, I decided to narrow it down a little bit and just focus on e-commerce videos. Pick something that you actually care about because making videos is a grind, and if you hate what you're talking about or you're not all the way into it, it's not gonna work out. Lately, even though I'm not that proud to admit it, I've been using this VR headset way too often. So let's say I wanted to start a YouTube channel all about VR, here's what I would do. The first thing I would do is literally just go to YouTube and type in VR. And first, look and see what pops up in this search term. You got VR games, VR 360, VR chat, you got VR funny moments. This search bar right here can give you some of your best video ideas. So then we can go ahead and pick one of the first options on this list. For example, we can do VR games. The goal when doing this is to find opportunities, see the things that are going viral. So you can go through here and come up with some of your first video ideas. For example, I would definitely do one of these game tier lists, just doing my own list of the best games. I would go for these type of videos where I'm just playing the games with a very simple thumbnail. You see that these are doing extremely well. Let's take this guy for example. You can see he did this strategy. He got 183,000 views in two months. And as you can see, his channel only has 28,000 subscribers. And then you can look at his channel for more examples of viral videos like tips and tricks, how to play Minecraft, how to increase the resolution. You get the idea. So that's how I'd recommend coming up with some of your first ideas for your channel. Look at what's already viral and think of how you can do it in your own way. The hardest part of course is actually making good videos, but the more reps you put in, the more time you spend doing Doing this, you will get better at it. For the last year, I pretty much posted a video every single week and the difference in quality is pretty drastic because I've been putting the reps in. And if you didn't already know, once you get an audience, you can make so much more money by doing brand deals, affiliate links, and even creating your own product. These other streams bring in around $100,000 a month for me. So when you add that up with the AdSense, you can see how this business model really changed my life. Even if you're shy, it's worth it. Just be you. Document your life, share your story, be as real as possible, and focus on creating the best content. I promise the money, the viewers, the subscribers, all that is gonna come as long as you focus on creating the best video and keep it real with the people. Now, business number three falls under the same category, but you never have to show your face. So it might be better for some people. 
Let's talk about how to do it. It's sort of similar to the last one, except instead of creating content for yourself, you're creating content on social media for other brands and getting paid for it. And with a couple good clients paying you monthly, you can build a stable full-time income pretty quickly. So how would I do it? First, you have to choose and study a platform heavily. Now, if I was doing this, I would definitely focus on TikTok. There are a ton of Shopify brands that want to be on TikTok, but simply don't understand how to do it and are willing to pay large amounts of money for somebody who can do it properly. But the first thing you need to understand is why a video goes viral and how to make a viral video. If you don't take the time to learn these two things, you cannot charge people for your service because you have no idea what you're doing. Now, TikTok has a pretty cut and dry formula for getting videos to pop off, so I would highly recommend studying this and figuring that out to a T. Next, I would focus on creating some type of case study. I would definitely try to blow up a page like my personal page, a niche account, or even another brand account because you need to show proof that you actually know what you're doing. It's like some scratch a guy coming up to you in the gym and being like, hey bro, let me get you right. Hell no, man. Yeah. Okay. This will take some time, but once you have a case study built up, you can go out and get some clients. I would go on sites like Upwork and post a job listing. I would constantly be scrolling through my Instagram and TikTok feed, looking for brands that I think I could help and constantly be reaching out. And then if they respond, I would try to set up a call and sell my service. It seems that the average rate for something like this is around $1,500 to $2,000 a month. So if you get two to three clients paying you every single month, congrats. You've built a full-time income just by posting videos. And just like the local agency, you can scale this business out by hiring salespeople, hiring advertisers, and this business can grow to be really big. I think doing this for Shopify brands on TikTok is one of the ultimate opportunities of this year, and I would highly recommend doing this if you like making videos. This business is honestly the reason why I'm here today. It allowed me to drop out of school and finally become a full-time entrepreneur. And I still believe without a doubt, this business is one of the best opportunities of our generation. If you didn't know, I'm talking about e-commerce. Now, I literally have hundreds hundreds of videos on my channel about this topic. So if you wanna learn more, it's all there. But 2022 brings a lot of new opportunity for this industry. And because I'm immersed in this world, I see some crazy stuff. Like for example, on one of my last videos, I had a teenager on there that had made over $50,000 in a single day dropshipping products online. So it is no question that starting an online store is still one of the best opportunities for this year. Now you can either dropship or you can go out and create your own product to sell. But for those out there who don't have a big budget, dropshipping is one of the best ways to get started. And it is exactly how I got my start as well. The growth of TikTok combined with selling products online is the ultimate opportunity. So if I had to start all over again with a low budget, this is exactly what I would do. First, you gotta do your homework. Now, I hate to sound like an annoying parent, but if you don't do the homework, you're gonna fail. What I mean by that is that you need to take the time to learn and truly understand what it takes to succeed in this business. I would spend most of my time studying on YouTube and Discord. There are a ton of Discord channels that are super helpful for beginners. One of the ones I recommend is called Nets Commerce from my boy Luca Nets. I'll put the link to it down below. This is not sponsored, but I promise it's a great group. You also need to study successful stores and ads so you can get an idea of what works. Once you get a basic understanding of the game, then you need to go out there and start looking for products. Find a couple products that stand out to you on TikTok and on Instagram and dig deep on them. Look to see how viral the product went, how many people are selling the product, and most importantly, find opportunities for you to get into that marketplace. A lot of times the opportunity is gonna be from improving on the competition, but also you can come up with creative marketing angles or even find a slightly different product that does the same thing. Once you found a product, then you can build your store. On that store, you have two ways to get customers. You can do free traffic or you can run ads. But but seriously, this is one of the best opportunities out there. And by the way, I don't talk about it much, but I've developed the all-in-one toolkit for anybody looking to get started with their own online store. We provide daily product recommendations with everything you need to sell them, in-depth beginner-friendly training videos, and a private community with two dedicated coaches and weekly live streams with me. This month, we're coming out with a brand new updated version of our app, and we're putting a TikTok course inside of there. So if you're thinking about starting your own store, check it out. I'll put the link down below. Let's move on to the last business. All right, I'm gonna be honest with you, this last one is not a business, but over the last year, I've seen this make more millionaires than anything I've ever seen. 
I'm talking about crypto. There is an overabundance of opportunities in this space, even when the market isn't performing that well. I've seen so many of my friends get extremely rich in the last year from flipping NFTs, buying and selling cryptos, and even some creating their own projects. It seems that we are in the modern day dot-com boom with all this new technology like Web3, blockchain, and the metaverse. It still feels extremely early and there's massive room for growth. Now, I will say it is much easier to get into this space if you already have a stable income. I would not recommend YOLOing your last dollar into some random random project you heard on a YouTube video or from your friend from elementary school that just texted you. Seriously, save up some money or build another one of the businesses I shared in this video before getting into this space. Now, truthfully, I'm not an expert at all. I have just a little over six figures in my entire crypto portfolio. All I do is I buy the projects that I do a lot of research on that look good to me. I ride them up to the top. I try to take some profits and just hold for the long term. It's a very simple strategy, but it works for me and I've done okay with it so far. The projects that I have the most of my money invested in are Ethereum, Solana, Polygon, and AVAX. Now, there are a ton of strategies for actually making a lot of money in crypto, and I'm not gonna go through them today because I have not made a lot of money in crypto. <laughs> My favorite channels for learning this though are Alex Becker and Brian Jung. These two guys make some of the best content in this space and I highly recommend that you check them out. I would suggest that you study their videos and develop your own strategy. Don't just go out and copy what you heard on Reddit or on Instagram. Study the game, learn about some of these projects and develop your own approach. There is massive amounts of money to be made in this space this year, so please don't overlook it. So if I lost all my money and I had to start over again this year, these are the areas that I would focus on. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe down below for new videos every single week. I only have one Instagram and the link for it is down below.